Hey fans, we're here with a list of the past 10 Heisman winners and telling you where they are now. Winning the Heisman Trophy is no easy feat and life after the Heisman isn't always guaranteed to be rosy. But before we get into this list, do me a favor and hit that subscribe to stay up to date on all our latest content. Got it? Awesome. On to the list. Before he was super cam, Cam Newton's first year at the University of Florida would be spent as a backup to eventual Heisman winner Tim Tebow. Cam would transfer to Blinn College where he would go on to shine and be named Juco All-American Honorable Mention. Cam transferred to Auburn for a senior season and the stage would finally be set for the world to get a real taste of the highly touted Cam Newton many knew coming out of high school. Cam would dominate the SEC and college football by air and by ground and win the 2010 SEC Player of the Year, 2010 Player of the Year, and take home the Heisman Trophy. Oh yeah, he led the Tigers to an undefeated season and won the school's first BCS National Championship too. After being selected first in the 2011 NFL Draft by the Carolina Panthers, he picked up right where he left off, winning Rookie of the Year honors and leading the team to a 6-10 record. In his 2015 season, Cam's Panthers career would reach its peak as he would win league MVP and take the franchise to the Super Bowl, but lose to the Denver Broncos. After the loss, things would trend downward for Cam in Carolina as his tenure would be marked with injuries and whispers of his exit. After the 2019 season, those rumors would become a reality and the former league MVP would be cut. Now, with the New England Patriots, Cam looks to prove all his doubters wrong and show the league he still has some of that super cam magic left in his 31-year-old tank. Robert Griffin III was a four-star recruit out of high school, and like Cam Newton, he was a lethal dual threat showcasing both his arm and legs. Unlike Cam, Robert Griffin III, or RG3, started 11 out of 12 games for Baylor as a true freshman, and though his team would only win four games, RG3 would go on to win Big 12 Freshman of the Year. His sophomore season would be halted by an ACL injury in the first half of his third game. After being granted redshirt status for the lost season, Griffin would enter his 2010 season as a sophomore and would impress with 30 total touchdowns and 4,145 total yards while managing a 7-6 record. His follow-up season would earn him Heisman honors after leading the Baylor Bears to a 10-3 record and totaling 47 touchdowns and an eye-popping 4,952 total yards. His video game-like numbers and electric playing style helped him become the first Baylor player to win the Heisman Trophy and would end up being selected second overall by the Washington Redskins in the 2012 NFL Draft. After starting the season 3-6, and six, RG3 would help the Redskins win their next seven games, missing one game in that span due to a knee injury, but reaching the postseason. He would re-injure his knee in the wild card loss to the Seahawks and was never really the same throughout his career after that injury. As a matter of fact, his rookie season would end up being his best season as a pro as the quarterback would only start 13 games the following year, then seven games before missing the entire 2015 season. After a forgettable year with the Cleveland Browns, the QB would end up at the Baltimore Ravens where he served as backup for an even more electrifying player, Lamar Jackson. After redshirting his freshman year for Texas A&M, Johnny Manziel would win the starting job the following season and make a name for himself after breaking Archie Manning's total yards record. He would gain even more attention after breaking his own record, but it wasn't until his Aggies would beat number one ranked Alabama that the world would be introduced to Johnny Manziel. Manziel would take home the Heisman Trophy that year and be the first freshman ever to do so. After finishing fifth in the voting the following season, Manziel would take his talents to the NFL. Known for being a partier with a polarizing reputation, Manziel slid in the draft to the Cleveland Browns at the 22nd pick. During his slide, Manziel reportedly texted the Browns quarterback coach that he wanted to wreck the league, and the Browns ended up trading up for him. Manziel did anything but wreck the league during his rookie season after throwing no touchdowns in his first two starts. His second season would be a ride almost as rocky as the first. He would come in for an injured Josh McCown twice and lose in relief. He would eventually be named the starter, but then get demoted to third string after videos of him partying surfaced during the team's bye week. 
After that, it was pretty much bye-bye Johnny after he was released by the Browns that next season before resurfacing twice in the CFL with the Hamilton Tiger Cats and the Montreal Alouettes. After the Alouettes had enough of Johnny and his antics, he would find himself in the Alliance of American Football and serve as a backup before the league suspended football operations. Like Johnny, Jameis Winston redshirted his first season in college. Also like Johnny, Jameis would go on to win the Heisman Trophy after redshirting and go on to win a host of other awards in what was a spectacular season for the quarterback. Winston would also win the national title after defeating Auburn. Jameis would lose his only game as a college quarterback the following season after a semifinal loss in the college football playoff to Oregon and quarterback Marcus Mariota. Ready for the NFL, Winston would enter the league and be selected first overall by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He led them to a respectable 6-10 record and would be selected to the Pro Bowl, the first rookie quarterback in Bucs history to have this honor. The following season, Winston would march to a 9-7 record and finish just shy of a playoff berth. The next two seasons would be hampered by injuries and inconsistent play, and his 2019 season would see the gunslinger throw a league-high 30 interceptions. His pick sixes would set an NFL record, and the Bucks would opt not to re-sign him and bring in Tom Brady. Jameis is currently a backup for the New Orleans Saints behind surefire Hall of Famer Drew Brees. Following Marcus Mariota's sophomore season at Oregon, many thought the quarterback was ready to take the next step to the National Football League and forgo his junior season. As a Heisman favorite, Mariota decided to return for his junior year and he proved himself right by upping his draft stock after a spectacular junior year with the Ducks. He went on to win the Heisman Trophy and become the first Hawaiian-born player to do so. Mariota would beat Winston in the semifinal before losing in the national title game to Ohio State. Mariota went on to be selected number two behind Jameis Winston. Marcus finished his rookie season with 19 touchdowns and 10 interceptions in 12 starts, and the Titans would finish 3-13. and 13. Mariota and the Titans fared much better in his second season, as the Titans' QB would win nine games, coming just shy of the playoffs. The following season, Marcus would make the playoffs, and this would prove to be the height of Marcus's Titans' career, after the next couple of years would be met with injuries and poor play. At the end of the 2019 season, the Titans would part ways with Mariota, who latched on to a backup gig with the Las Vegas Raiders. After being featured sparingly as a true freshman, then being recognized as a more than capable back in his sophomore season, Derrick Henry proved to be a man amongst boys in his junior season at Alabama. After TJ Yeldon departed for the NFL, the backfield was all Henry's and all he did was rush for over 2,200 yards and 28 touchdowns en route to a Heisman Trophy in a national title. After being drafted by the Titans in 2016, Henry played primarily as a backup for his first two seasons before being unleashed in 2018 and earning his first league rushing title in 2019. Henry would help the Titans make a playoff run before losing in the AFC Championship game to the eventual Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs. After a solid freshman season at Louisville, Lamar Jackson exploded his sophomore season by land and by air after racking up an insane 51 total touchdowns. Although his passing stats were good, it was his legs which were harder to stop and made him the Heisman Trophy favorite and eventual winner. He would be a Heisman finalist again his junior season before turning pro and being selected by the Baltimore Ravens with the last pick in the first round. Drafted to be the heir apparent, it became apparent pretty early on that Jackson would be the guy. He'd eventually help the Ravens win a division title and never look back. In his second season, he would go on to win league MVP and improved his passing touchdown total from 6 to 36 and erase a lot of doubt surrounding his arm. Entering his third NFL season, the sky is really the limit for Lamar. Baker Mayfield's road to the Heisman Trophy was a bit longer than previous winner Lamar Jackson's, but the same determination and moxie that led him from Texas Tech to Oklahoma helped him win the starting job after sitting out his first season with Oklahoma. After getting the reins of the offense, Mayfield would put together two dominant seasons before saving his best for last in what was his Heisman season. Although Mayfield was known for being cocky and brash, 
He backed it up on the field all season long when it came down to the vote. He received an overwhelming margin in his favor. He would be selected with the first overall pick in the NFL draft and set a rookie season passing record of 27 touchdowns in just 13 starts. After trading for Odell Beckham, many expected the Browns to make a deep playoff run in Mayfield's second season, but the quarterback regressed and the Browns as a team took a step back. Perhaps this third season will be a charm for Mayfield. After transferring from Texas Tech, similar to Baker Mayfield before him, Kyler Murray had to sit out a season due to NCAA rules. He transferred to Oklahoma, just like Mayfield, and ended up serving as his backup. After Mayfield left, it was the Kyler Murray show, and Kyler did not disappoint. In his first year as a starter, Kyler would go on to score a combined 54 touchdowns and win the Heisman Trophy following, you guessed it, Baker Mayfield. Kyler would be selected first overall in the 2019 draft and win the Rookie of the Year award. After a promising rookie season and after acquiring superstar wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins, many have Kyler Murray as an early MVP candidate entering his second season. The final entry on our list may be last, but certainly not least on our Heisman Trophy winner countdown. Joe Burrow essentially did nothing until his redshirt junior year. During that year, he would go on to throw for 16 touchdowns and five interceptions. In his redshirt senior year, Burrow would up that touchdown total significantly from 16 to 60. Yes, 60, you heard that correctly, in what many consider the best collegiate season of all time. Burrow proved unstoppable and set college football ablaze on his way to a Heisman Trophy and a national title. After being drafted first overall in the 2020 draft by the Cincinnati Bengals, the hopes are high for Burrow, and many think he will pump some much-needed life into the franchise. That concludes our list. Ten Heisman winners up, ten Heisman winners down. Not all of them are still riding the highs of their college days, while a few have soared just as high at the next level and are still yet to reach their peak. Hey, let us know what you thought about these lists in the comments, and until next time, sports fans, have a good one.